Hey guys and welcome back to another video from our Take Inter tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to explain how to use and create the list box widget. So what is the list box widget? Well, it's a GUI element in Take Inter that presents to the user a list of options in the form of a box. The user can then select one or many of these options and the uh, input of the user is then returned to us for us to either store this data or do some further action using the returned data. Well, let's begin. We'll first create a label. Most widgets in Take Inter don't come with some kind of identifying text or anything, so it's good to create a la label next to them. All right, text. Uh, we'll go with a grocery-like theme. This is a grocery list, all right? Self.label.place, x to the 30, y to the 50. I'll put this a bit higher, all right? Next, we'll create the actual list box. So self.list box, we will tk.list box, self.frame, right? Uh, we'll just leave one parameter in for now. There are more, we'll discuss one or two of them, but for now, uh, we're just creating the base, right? Self.list box dot place, x to the 30 and y to the 50, right? Now, let's just run this code once and see the output. All right, there's our label, and here's an empty list box. All right, so uh, the list box is empty, so how do we put in values for it? Well, we do this using the insert function, all right? So before you place the list box, okay, you have to begin adding in commands with insert. All right, so insert takes two parameters, all right? The first is the index the position in a sense, uh, it's a numeric value. The second is the value, the text value to be entered uh, or and the value to be selected by the user. Now remember indexing starts from zero, so the first parameter is gonna be zero, all right? The second parameter is gonna be something, again, we're just making a list of options, so we'll go with meat. Again, we have a grocery theme here. Let me, let me just copy paste this quickly. We'll leave about four items in all right one two three eggs cheese all right let's run this and there we go we can select any one of these options right so how do we find out which uh, option the user selected right a valid question so let's create a button we'll use this button to retrieve the value of the list box text is equal to retrieve value all right now let's just call this submit because that makes more sense i think and command we'll create a function here called ret for retrieve all right uh, self dot button dot place and somewhere on the 150, I guess. And you have to make sure it doesn't interfere with the list box, so we'll put it significantly down, about 200, right? Or a little lower, 220. Now let's create that function, ret. Uh, now, here's the main part, in a sense. Uh, self.list box, okay. Now we're going to use uh, a new function called curve selection. Previously, we used the get, uh, you know, for the combo box and entry, but here we use curve selection. All right, this returns the index. It does not return the value. It returns the index of the currently selected value. All right, let's run this. All right, I left a comma over there. All right, there's our button in a pretty good location. Let's select milk, submit. There we go, index one. Do not confuse this because one does not mean position one, it means position two. I select meat, zero. Eggs, eggs, two. Cheese, three. Right. So how would you select multiple values? Like the current system only allows us to select one. How would you select more than one? 
we'll do this using the select mode parameter and passing in tk dot multiple right let's run this now now watch this we can select all of the options and then submit that prints all of them out i uh, just click on one to deselect it right i clicked on milk again it was deselected i clicked on meat deselected eggs deselected and cheese we have an empty tuple there now right one thing i want to discuss is the get function so its use is slightly different here on the list box all right you see it doesn't actually return the currently selected value or index all right what it does is just uh, it returns all of the values or at least it returns values uh, certain certain range of values all right because it takes two parameters a start point and end point it'll then return the values from that start point to that end point all right so let's say we want to return all the current values in the list box how are we going to do that well we could put in zero as the start point and three as the end point right and this is going to work but there's a better way of doing this by writing tk.end over here basically this is an automatic way of uh, of telling tkinter to find the last index in the list box this is pretty handy because uh, maybe you have a system where the user can put a new value right into the list box so then uh, if you write three over here and then he puts in a new value suddenly there are four right so tk.end will automatically adjust itself all right so let's run this code and see how it works all right let's click submit and there we go all of our values have been printed out and again uh, selecting values has no effect on this all right it just returns them indiscriminately and let's just change that up a bit to just show you how it works again uh, we passed in two and tk.end right so it gave us the second index and the last index right uh, one parameter i want to discuss is the height parameter uh, if you noticed the size of the list box was pretty large right so what happens if you want to decrease the size to five say all right by the way by the way default is 10 all right 10 meaning 10 lines over here we've lowered it down to uh five so we have four values here and the extra space and if you actually decrease the height uh, be you know like if let's say there are 10 values and you decrease the height to five you don't worry you can actually scroll right it, there's a scroll feature that allows you to scroll through all the values so don't worry about losing out any of your values you can use this safely if you just want some extra space on your window all right that's about it for this video if you want to see more content like this in the future make sure to hit the subscribe button uh, well then see you in the next video